Hello, what's up? Happy Wednesday. I think it's, no, yeah, you yeah, know. I don't know why I keep doing that. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to Actors Daily Bread. Is it a problem that I don't quite know what day it is? Y'all, who's gonna buy me a calendar? <laughs> what's up? Welcome to Actors Daily Bread. Today I'm talking about you can do it all, but there's a catch. There is a catch. I'm gonna tell you how you can do it all and tell you what the catch is. If this is your first time watching, I wanna welcome you. This is acting tips, life tips, audition tips. I am Christine Horn, professional working actress of over 20 plus years, and I'm a life and career coach for actors, and you are in the right place. So all my replay watchers who I love, what's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. <laughs> hey, Tanika, leave a comment, leave a question. Let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know where in the world you are watching from. It's been a wonderful day. It's been a busy week. I'm working on a, a show, and I'm really excited about it, and I can't wait to tell you about it when it airs later, because I'm not going to break that confidentiality contract. <laughs> but know that I'm in, I'm in great spirits, and I'm learning so much, and I can't wait to share that stuff with you. But something that was on my mind um, the past couple of days is I've been listening to, um, shout out to Dewan Johnson and the Think Bigger Summit. Again, uh, wonderful stuff that he's sharing in the Think Bigger community, not affiliated with it, just passing on good information. I believe in abundance. There's enough for all of us. So if you're an actor, a mama, daddy of an actor, join the Think Bigger Summit. It's awesome. But in, in thinking about it and thinking about when we as actors take classes or listen to workshops, um, if we buy any online programs, digital programs, or just reading articles, you get so much information thrown at you, right? Can anybody relate? Like you, one casting director is like, send me postcards. The other one's like, don't send me postcards. I hate them. You know, one casting director is telling you to do this and another agent saying, it's just like, oh, I don't know what to do. Like everybody has an opinion. And that is the fact. Everybody has an opinion. And what can happen is, Sometimes you're not overwhelmed by all the information that you're getting from casting directors and, and teachers and people like me, <laughs> right? Sometimes it's not overwhelming. Sometimes it's so inspiring and you feel motivated, you feel pumped, and then you kind of feel like stuck. Like, what do I do first? I want to do it all. I want to be an actor. I want to be a singer. I want to be a producer. I want to be a director. I want to do commercials, voiceovers, <laughs> indie films, feature films. I want to win an Emmy, an Oscar, a Tony, a Grammy. Like, it's like, whoa. Though, all that is wonderful. And I applaud every single dream you have, every single vision that's been placed in your heart. I want to tell you that you can do it all. You can have it all. But there's a catch. And this is something that I've learned in my own life and something that I've learned from reading uh, biographies from people in the industry and autobiographies, you know, I think Shonda Rhimes said it best in her book, Year of Yes. If you have not read that book, check it out. Awesome read. I think I read that in like two days. But she talks about how when she's succeeding in one area of her life, she's failing in another. So if she's the bomb diggity producer, writer, creator of Grey's Anatomy Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder, she's failing at home. And I know failing may seem like a very strong word. But the point of it is, and I think Tina Fey said it too in her book, Bossy Pants, it's just that balance is really hard to find. And so we have to get good at understanding if I'm putting a lot of energy here, that's where my energy is right now. And it doesn't mean I can't do other things. But here's the analogy I want to share with you today. And if you're just joining, welcome. Say hello. Say hi, Christine. What's up? You look cute. Something. <laughs> say something. And look, if you're not part of the Hollywood Bound, actors Facebook group pop up on in there because I have some um, I made a big announcement in there today and I want you to check it out but I want you to imagine have you ever been to Cheesecake Factory if you've ever been to Cheesecake Factory hit put cheese in the in the, in the comments <laughs> put cheese in the comments if you have ever been to Cheesecake Factory and if you've been to the Cheesecake Factory no matter where in the world you visited what happens when you sit down they give you that menu it's like you need like 40 minutes to look through the menu, right? It's like if you turn to page 22, section 3, you will see the entrees. <laughs> You're like, the waiter's like, you ready to order? Like, no, I'm not ready to order. I'm on page 4. Like, I need time. <laughs> Too many options. <laughs> I'm laughing because y'all know that's true. 
even though nobody's typing it at this moment, I'm having myself a good time. <sighs> I'm high on life, you guys. I'm just in a great mood. But it's the visual. And I want you to imagine the Cheesecake Factory menu as life, right? Your life is the Cheesecake Factory menu. Your acting career is the Cheesecake Factory menu. All your dreams, all your hopes, things that you wish for in the dark of night, in the quiet, on your knees when you're praying or when you're meditating, that is all the Cheesecake Factory menu. The problem is you're trying to order the entire Cheesecake Factory menu in one sitting. I dare you to go to Cheesecake Factory tonight, tomorrow for lunch and order the whole menu. They be looking at you like, you, ma'am, sir, that's, that's a lot. Like, how are you gonna eat it all? Like, how are you? that's not even possible to eat that much. I mean, you got fish, you got cheese, you got cheesecake. I mean, you can't eat all that together. So think about that. We are, and I've been guilty of it too. I'm the queen of multitasking and trying to do so much. But as I've gotten older, hey Andromeda, you caught me live. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've perfected and, and, I'm, and I'm a work in progress, right? But I have to acknowledge that though I'm multi-passionate and there's nothing wrong with that, I have to understand that I can do as much as I want to do, but if I don't find some focus, I'm never going to get to where I know I could have gotten had I just had a bit more focus. So what does that look like to you? That may look like, I'm going to just start with these appetizers. I'm going to start with these two appetizers. So maybe the appetizers for you is I'm going to get an agent, a new agent, and I'm going to take some headshots. Not I'm going to get an agent, take some headshots, take some voiceover classes, record a voiceover demo reel, work full time, take comedy classes, and go to the improv. Like, right? A, that's going to overwhelm you. You're going to burn out. A lot of you are burning out, and that is the reason why. You're burning out. You're getting discouraged because you created a fake timeline for yourself that you're supposed to get through the Cheesecake Factory menu in 60 days or 90 days or a year. And I never like to say it's not possible, but it's not the smartest route. Does that make sense? If you're feeling what I'm saying, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, can you just give me a like? Amen. You, yeah, I hear you, Christine. Something. So think about, I want you to do some self, some inventory, and ask yourself, where have I been ordering too much? Can I not order three entrees right now? Maybe for the month, the rest of August, Thank you for the likes. Maybe for the rest of August, I'm just going to focus on salmon. So what is the salmon in your life? Is it just working on a new demo reel? Is it just fixing your resume? Right? Is it signing up for some of those websites you know you should be on? Y'all laugh. I see laughs. I see mad faces. I see hearts. There's a lot of emotions going on out there with y'all. <laughs> Andromeda says makes so much sense thank you yeah but that's that's what we're doing so I am not gonna be the one who tells you you can't do anything I will never tell you what you can't have and if there's anyone in your life telling you you need to debo them out push them out right we don't need dream snatchers as my homeboy Omar Dorsey shout out to Queen Sugar years ago he's to talk about Christine these dream snatchers out here so we're not, I'm not going to be a dream snatcher for you. But what I am saying is this world, and not just with your acting career, life is a menu. You can order what you want. You will look crazy going to a restaurant you hate, ordering something off the menu that you, dis, you detest. I don't eat cheese. I stopped eating cheese when I was eight. I know that's weird. I order pizza without cheese. I know it's weird. I know. But imagine if I went to a restaurant and went to like Carabas, like give me extra cheese. And I hate cheese. I'm going to eat this cheese because that's what the menu got on it. No. We are co-creators in this thing called life. You can choose what you want off the menu. You don't like the menu, go to a different restaurant. You don't like your life right now, do something else. Pick up a new menu. Pick up a new idea. Get inspired. So let that resonate with you. I'm, I, I know y'all get what I'm, where I'm going with this. But really be honest about your, to yourself, because I'm doing that for myself, too. You know, I'm back in L.A. I've been working nonstop, which is awesome. I'm running my business, coaching actors. But I have to really assess, what, is, what does Christine want for the rest of this year? We're already at the August, which I cannot believe. So what do I want for the rest of the year, right? 
I have to think about that. I'll be 40 in December. What do I want for that? Like, so what am I choosing off this menu? And I remember that it's my choice. It's my choice. And it's your choice as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't be stingy. Share with somebody you love. Share with an actor friend or just somebody who needs to hear this. And I hope it resonated with you. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. And on my replay watches, you know I love you. I will respond to all your questions and comments as well. Have an amazing night. I'm going to go spend time with the hubs and the dog. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.